Hi, I'm Pastor Bob Nagelski, Victory Baptist Church, with you again for ten quick minutes. Great peace uh, have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. I'd like to read an article uh, from the Bible Believer's Bulletin uh, on the best scientific proof that biblical Christianity, and that's not the Roman Catholic or Protestant or Greek Orthodox kind, is superior to any other 30 religions, and it's simple. It has to do with singing. Singing. For more than 1900 years, Bible-believing Christians have been singing about a dead man. Yes, they have. Now think about that, 20 to 50 years. <laughs> Doesn't that strike you as being a little off base or odd? Can anyone give me another example like that one? Of course they can't. Neither can your computer or your internet or your ant web. Amen? Come, come now. Surely, if Augustine or Muhammad or Mother Teresa or Thomas Aquinas or St. Francis or even Mary were so important, where are their hymnals? I can find two hymnals, each one containing more than 500 songs praising a dead man. At least 100 of those songs have been translated into 10 different languages. You can't find that many songs on Buddha, Muhammad, or Mary combined. What? No songs about Leo the Great, Loyola, Pope Pius XII, John Paul II, Paul uh, the Sixth, John XXIII, so on and so forth. How about JFK or Luther or FDR? You can't find them. Why? There are children from 4 years old to 15 years old who sing songs about Jesus Christ. PhDs sing them, so have rocket scientists, soldiers, physicians, queens, chemists, farmers, doctors, carpenters, lawyers, governors, kings, and presidents through the last thousand years. In Islam, God's only true messenger and prophet was a man about whom not one Muslim boy or girl ever sang in 14 centuries. Why? He died, didn't he? He founded a religion, didn't he? He taught you how to get to paradise, didn't he? He professed to be the perfect role model for all males, didn't he? He claimed his own people were the chosen nation of God and the best people on earth, with himself as the best example of those people, didn't he? Well then, what happened to his music? When people are happy, they sing according to James 5.13 and Psalms. They sing. They really do. You sing when you're happy. According to Psalms 137, verse 1 through 4, and Colossians 3.16, Music is the universal language, not Hebrew or Greek or English or Arabic. Music was here before any male or female showed up on this planet, and before even speech was here. Its origin source was joyful praise to God as the Creator, according to Job chapter 38, verses 4 through 7. No mu Muslim, Iman, uh, uh, their leader, includes the book of Job in his catalog of the Old Testament Hebrew canon. They don't appreciate a woman uh, telling her husband to curse God and die, according to Job chapter 2, verse 9. So they just delete the whole book while professing to believe the Old Testament. Well, tell me something. If you believe the Old Testament, how did you miss noticing that the longest book in it, with 36 more chapters in it than the Koran, was a songbook? I asked a Muslim one time to sing me a song about Muhammad. The sorry liar said, oh no, singing is a sin. That's typical Muslim answer to any Bible issue. He said that while professing to believe that David was one of Allah's recognized prophets, well, David was a songwriter and a musician, according to 2 Samuel 23, 1. He describes the crucifixion of Allah's son in Psalms 22 and his millennial reign at his second advent in Psalms 2. What happened to all of his Muslim buddies who professed to believe in the Old Testament? Nothing. They just went on lying like the Islamic nation has lied for 14 centuries. There are no joyful songs about any dead Muslim from A.D. 600 to 2009, including Mohammed, uh, Fatima, and the old ragheads, 14 uh, wives and 11 concubines. All modern Muslims have lockjaw when it comes to expressing the joy they have experienced from running into Muhammad or the praise they willingly offer him for replacing Jesus Christ as Allah's prophet. 
Whereas all of Jesus Christ's believers know they possess eternal life, John 3, verse 36, John 5, verse 24, John 10, verse 28, and mansions in paradise. See 2 Corinthians 12, 1 through 4, and John 14, 1 through 2. And sing about it. Not one of Muhammad's followers can sing anything about either. According to Colossians 3, 16, look at who would be singing about a man who died. Peter. 1 Peter 1, 4 through 5. And 1 Peter 1, uh, 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 4, uh, uh, verse 5 and verse 9. John also sang. 1 John 2, 2 and, and 1 John 3, 1 through 3 and 1 John 5, 10 through 12. The Apostle Paul also. Romans 8, verse 29, verses 38 to 39. 2 Timothy 1 and verse 12. And all of their converts sang about someone. Ephesians 1, 13, Philippians 1, 6, 1 John 4, 16, 1 John 5, 13, 1 Peter 1, 18 to 23, 1 Peter 5, 10, Acts 13, 38 to 39, Acts 15, verse 11, Titus 3 and verse 5, and 1 Timothy 2, verses 5 and 6. Let me make myself clear, much clearer than, than what I just wrote. Jesus was a man who died. Multitudes saw him die, Luke 23, 46 to 49. A professional Roman infantry soldier made sure he died. John 19, 32 to 36. Mohammed died, and so did Buddha. It is a well-known historical fact that they both died. Died. Mohammed was a man who died. So what happened to Mohammed's believers who claimed that uh, to obey him was to obey Allah? That's Surah uh, 480. That is what Jesus Christ claimed. John 14.9, uh, John 8.58, John 10.30, John 17.1-7, John 5, uh, verses 20-27, and verse 36. Two men died, and they claimed the same thing. What on earth happened to the old epileptic, fornicating, illiterate military dictator when he died? Why, 14 centuries, 14 centuries, you couldn't find anyone thanking Muhammad for salvation, for food, for clothing, for a marriage partner, for good health, for a job, for a meal, for a victory, or for a home in heaven. Muslims have no hymn book. Why not? Easy. Muhammad didn't qualify in anyone's sight. Want to see it in black and white as well as full color and cinemascope? All right, dig this. My hope is built on nothing less than Muhammad's blood and righteousness. O oh, Mohammed, the solid rock I stand, all the ground is sinking sand. You ready? Blessed assurance, Mohammed is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Come again. Mohammed never fails. Mohammed never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Mohammed never... You ever hear any songs like that about Mohammed? Zero. Zilch. Why? Dead man, dead. They don't have God's spirit. They're not serving the God in heaven. And they don't believe God's holy word. They therefore have no joy of the Lord in their soul. Do you understand that? Can you do your own investigations on that? Can you study the Bible yourself? Can you get a Koran? I got one up in my office. Why don't you read it? And why don't you really get the truth? Stop being a lab rat. Stop letting the media just tell you what to do. Why don't you look up something every now and then? Ask God to give you that song that other believers have. Well, thank you for that. Look it up. Figure it out. Amen. We got the songbook. Why? Because Jesus is Lord. Amen.